Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your own custom avatar that looks just like you. It's really easy and it's such a fun tool to have in your life because if you are ever sick or need to take a week off, this will allow you to be able to keep up with your content production. Of course, there's lots of risk when it comes to AI, so we're also going to talk a little bit about your intellectual property and your safety and making sure that you understand how to read the terms and conditions. So let's get into it. So first things first is we're going to use a tool called Hagen to create your avatar. Hagen has a free version. I recommend using the paid version. And what you do is you go to avatars and you create your own avatar. So you would click this button and you'd click a hyper-realistic avatar. And you basically go through their instructions. It's pretty straightforward. You can do a still motion avatar, which is basically someone who's like me right now sitting down. This is the real me, by the way. This is not an avatar. You're sitting down and then it's animating your hands and your mouth or a motion avatar. Which I'm so excited that you're going to create your first motion. Moving around. I haven't tried the motion avatar yet just because I would need to like set up a whole system to get that done. But for the still avatar, you can use your phone, you can use your DSLR. The most important thing is that you have to submit two to five minutes of footage and you want to make sure that you're looking at the camera. And if you're like me, you actually want to keep your hands talking below because when you talk up here, it kind of distorts the face or it distorts the hand motions. That is the hardest part, but you have to talk directly to camera. It then will score the video for you. So let's see if I want to make one. Use your own video. And let's say I'm uploading, I don't know, this random video of me. So basically it'll go through your footage and then from there it'll define and kind of give you a checklist. You can still submit it if you don't meet all the checklists, but it does help you at least understand is this going to be the best possible outcome or not. So then it'll create the look, you'll create your general avatar. And then basically each avatar has a bunch of different looks. This is really important because you only have two avatars and it also trains more and more on your specific body type and your face. So these are example avatars that I have done that are video avatars. She's pretty good. Hey, Morgan V2, your hyper-realistic avatar is ready. Try creating videos with it. Also click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. She's pretty good, right? Then there's ones that are just okay. Hey, Morgan V2, your hyper-realistic avatar is ready. Try creating videos with it. Also, click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. See how the hand motions are a little bit off? It's because they're guessing, because it's kind of hard to know what hand motion I would really do because I was too close to the camera and I was doing a lot of hand motions when I recorded that video. She's really good, actually. Hey, Morgan V2, your hyper-realistic avatar is ready. Try creating videos with it. Also. Cool. So the voice is going to be botched for the most part. I'm going to show you how we get the really good voice quality with 11 labs. So don't worry about voice, focus on the video first. So once you have your video, you then can do these things, which are photo looks, and you can generate different looks of yourself. I haven't been able to get these looks to do a really good version of me talking. You can see the mouse are a little bit wacky. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Simply type your... But what I like about this is this is the most realistic generation that I have seen of my face with all these different scenarios. So what I've been using these for is actually to take the photos and put them into other tools, but we won't get into that today. I'll talk about that another time. All right. So now that we have our video looks, now we can go create a video. Let's say I'm going to make a video for... Instagram, we're going to call this Hi YouTube. So you pick your video, you pick your avatar from the ones that you made. We're going to make a good one, so let's use her. And then you can type your script here and you just say, Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying my new content and I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and free newsletter, which I do. I do hope you do that. Okay, so then it will, it's already made a voice clone from some of the videos that I've uploaded. It's generally just okay, but let's hear how she sounds. 
Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying my new content and I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and free newsletter. You know, she's just okay. You know, she's not exactly like me. So I'll show you exactly how to get a better sound. But if you want, if you have the time and you're not like in automation mode, you also can just record the audio, which of course has the best outcome. So you can say, Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying my new content and I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my free newsletter. I always click voice mirroring because what it does is it takes the voice that was in the video and all the ambient noise and sound from the video and it matches it up better than where the instance that I am right now. I mean, I happen to be in the same location, so it's probably going to be about the same. But let's say you were like outside and there was like you're in the tropical forest and there's ambient noise or you're in an office that has an echo. It would actually add some of that. So I'm going to do voice mirroring just to make sure it sounds as accurate as possible for this specific scenario, this specific avatar. I'm going to delete this because I don't need her to read it because she's already doing it. Hey, everyone. I hope you're enjoying my new content, and I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my free newsletter. Boom. Now, you can do a bunch of things here. You can remove backgrounds. You can add, change to her location. So if you were to do this in, on like a uh, one a flat color, you know, you could be able to do it. They don't always recommend doing it on a green screen, but just so you guys can see. Oh, you have to remove the background. Hold on. Background remover. You know, it's just an okay background remover. But, you know, yeah, I don't really use that that much unless I'm literally, oh, shoot. Bye, girl. Let's say you liked this audio, but you want to change the avatar. You know, you just click here and you can change a whole other one. But for now, let's just go ahead and generate. Say, hi, YouTube. Resolution. Let's make it 4K. And it's going to process. This is going to take a while. So while this is taking a while, we're going to go ahead and go to 11 Labs. So 11 Labs is a, one of the best audio generation tools in the game. And 11 Labs allows you to take text and make it speech. And then it'll also basically create different versions of voices. Now, I use this to duplicate my current voice, but you could be animating something. You could be narrating something using a voiceover and you don't want your voice. You might want it to be something else. This is a great tool to use. And if you pay for it and read the terms and services, you can actually use it for commercial use, which is, of course, really nice. A lot of tools in the AI world, also, you don't own the content that you're creating. So, for example, someone was telling me to use free pick. And when you read the terms of services, you don't own anything that you generate out of that. So I was like, it's a no for me. Or I'll use it just for something simple, but not something that I'd actually really want to maintain ownership of. Okay, so voices is where you start. Oops, voices. So you're gonna go ahead and create or clone a voice. I've already paid for my professional voice, which is basically you upload up to two hours of voice. You could, if you have a YouTube channel, use your YouTube channel. Like if you have a podcast, play your podcast for it. There's lots of different ways that you can upload audio files of yourself, or if you're in like been talking in a meeting with a Zoom, I don't recommend just trying to talk to the camera because typically how we talk to a camera when we know we're being recorded, it sounds different than when we're just talking naturally. So I wouldn't recommend that, but you can do an instant voice clone. So let's try that. Hey everybody, it's Morgan and Vaughn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're working on this voice clone to make sure that this voice sounds as much as me, like me as possible. And I'm trying not to overdo my inflections, but I'm also trying to talk at a natural pace, which is more reflective of me. And it's not as easy as it sounds or as it looks. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I hope that you subscribe to the channel and I hope that you love everything that Blavity Inc. makes and creates every single day. All right, so that's enough technically. Submit it. And we'll call this Morgan in the kitchen. Um, they oftentimes in these tools will make you confirm that you are not trying to clone somebody. Like you're not allowed to do this for and be Barack Obama, right? Or like take somebody else's voice and try to be them. That is actually against the terms of service. So just be mindful if you're playing around to not steal somebody else's content. Oh, English. 
I'm a woman. And I don't have an accent, but I am going to give it my middle age. So it knows that I'm not a child. All right. So now that we can do this, let's generate a clone and we can create, let's create some content. Hey everyone, we're testing out this voice. Let's see how she does. Morgan in the kitchen, generate speech. Now I have credits. So when you pay for the tool, you get all these credits. And you can always buy more, so you can always just be mindful, you know, of that. Now, in terms of speed, I'm going to make her exactly the speed that I already was at. Stability, similarity, like I kind of want her to just be the same. You know what I'm saying? I don't need any exaggeration or nothing. Let's hear how she sounds. Hey, everyone, we're testing out this voice. Let's see how she does. That was a little fast. Hey everyone, we're testing out this voice. Let's see how she does. Also very breathy, but I think I was breathy when I was recording it. Hey everyone, we're testing out this voice. Let's see how she does. All right, let's try. Hey everyone, we're testing out this voice. Let's see how she does. Hey everyone, that was too slow. And then ex ex style exaggeration is when it basically will add like, hey everyone, we're testing out this voice. Let's see how she does. So let's let's pop her up even further. Hey everyone, we're testing out this voice. Let's see how she does. You know, it's just okay. The best one is when you do the full two hours, but this is good for now. Let's go back to Hey Jen and see where our girly is. She's done. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying my new content and I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my free newsletter. She's pretty good. Let's watch it again. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying my new content and I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my free newsletter. She's a star. So you can download this and post it and people won't know any better. Or you can download it and then chop it up in like Descript with B-roll and different things. So that's just a glimpse of you, but you're putting in a bunch of B-roll to make sure that someone's not just like staring at this person. That I think is probably the best way to get these results to look really good without actually having to record. So let me stop sharing my screen. So that's it, you guys. I hope that you found this useful. Be conscious of the tool that you're using. Be conscious of the terms and conditions. And also be mindful of how you are when you're doing your recordings that you're trying to create, you know, the most stable version of yourself so that you're not doing all this when you're recording and being all expressive and stuff. You know, you want it to be a very generic version of you. I've seen YouTube channels that have literally like every YouTube video is a Hey Jen avatar of them and you don't know it because you've never met them. So it's hard to know what their voice actually sounds like. And over time, a lot of these avatar tools are going to be integrated naturally into the different YouTube channels, TikTok, Instagram has like an avatar, but it's a, a cartoon. So this is coming, whether people like it or not. So it's better to learn how to play with this technology, figure out how you're going to use it in your life, and then go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and check out my free newsletter as well, AI Insights, which comes out occasionally where I share all the things that I'm learning. All right. Until next time.